it's another week and another plan with me. This is the final week of the mustard color and I got out some dollar stickers that I bought at Michael's a while back and you'll see that it's a very like extreme sports like oh dude radical kind of vibe here with um, some kind of freaking looking dinosaurs. Gotta say that triceratops with the legs coming out of its head. I, yeah, I don't know about some of these stickers but anyway. Those are the stickers I'm using, uh, and these are the washi tapes that I thought might go with these stickers. I'm not entirely sure which ones I'll use, but they shared similar bright colors and ink styles and summery type vibes, so I'm like, alright, pull from that selection there. And this week I'm also trying a different format where I start my week on Sunday, because the way I figure it, the only reason that Sunday and Saturday are at the end because it is a weekend, okay, it does make sense that way. And also, you know, everybody loves the weekend banners, the weekend boxes, stuff like that. But, I don't actually have a weekend. It's not like my weekend is full of fun things and resting, no. My weekends are not like that, and so it's just a lie, and nobody wants to look in their planner and just see lies. So I thought I would try starting it on Sunday, and it works out better for me because now both of my art classes are on one page instead of split between the two, and I don't know, I just like that, okay. So that's what we're trying. Again, the freaky little dinosaur. I don't know what is going on there. But my goal is to be sugar-free this week. I'm doing a sugar cleanse. I'm going to try to stay away from the processed sugars. Um, I'm going to tell you right now this has already failed. Because Sunday... Oof, let's just say I don't start Sunday. Let's say I start the sugar cleanse on... Uh, what's today? Wednesday? Let's say we start on Wednesday. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, some things went down here. But, back to the sidebar. Putting down some blue doodle tape and a big weekly, not weekly, I always call them weekly trackers. No, it's not tracking the weeks, it's tracking the days, okay? So, uh, I put one, like, under my goal box and then I put one at the bottom here because I always do weird spacing if I just go from top to bottom and then things happen, I gotta reposition and it's a pain, so I thought let's just start at the bottom and then split the difference in the middle with whatever sticker I have that can fit there. And wouldn't you just know it, I made these smaller trackers and it fits perfectly. PERFECTLY! Classical stretch is going on the top. Whatever I'm watching is going on the bottom because again, I don't have enough TV stickers to do it at the bottom every day like I used to do. So I'm just doing it on the sidebar for this week as well. Although a lot of times it's just Running Man. We watch a lot of Running Man. And Costco stretch has yet to happen this week. <sighs> Fail. Fail. I did walk Tika once, so that's good. That cute little sticker was just given to me. Oh, what's the name of the sticker? I don't remember the maker, but I will put a link to it in the description thingy in case you want that cute little dog sticker for your own. So Sunday is actually a double planning of last week, but not really because it is more truthful. Because now that Sunday is in the past, I know exactly what I did. I packed my bag, I made some handouts for the convention, I filled up a big bottle of water, but by then I was kind of almost late, so I couldn't actually pack food. And this is bad, because if you have ever been to a convention, especially one that is held at the sports arena, you know that your only choices of food are like those weird nachos, or like really questionable hot dogs and really high prices on top of it and it's like I can't afford that I can't afford to put that kind of junk in my body okay so what happened was that I spent those seven hours surviving on my bottle of water and a chocolate bar <laughs> that was given to me actually was given to all of the uh, booth people like anybody who got a table at the convention got a, you know some chocolate bars and it was high-end chocolate okay it wasn't just like you know, garbage chocolate. It was high-end lint. You know those truffles? Lint truffles? Okay, this was a lint chocolate bar. Oh my gosh, it was delicious. But I just, uh, it had like eight segments. Did I have eight? No. I, I can't remember. But anyway, I was eating like one an hour, like I was um, rationing them out. I was going to have that dinosaur sticker right there, that one. Having a speech balloon that was going to say Stockton Con, right? But when I tried to place the speech balloon, the tail of the speech balloon was pointing right to his, like right under his tail, you know what I mean? 
and I didn't want it to look like he was talking out of the place right under his tail. So then I'm like, okay, let's not do the speech balloon. Let's just do a half box and write Stockton Con, and it was 10 to 5, and I spent those 7 hours behind a booth eating chocolate and drinking water. I did get one bathroom break. That was a relief. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, okay. And then my dad had made quiche and my mom had made peach cobbler. So as soon as I got home, after having nothing but chocolate all day, I just like ate. Oh my gosh, I just ate. Like I had a bunch of quiche and it was delicious. And I had my mom's peach cobbler with ice cream and that was delicious. And my sister had made creme brulee and that was delicious. Okay, so I just had two desserts and a quiche and very little vegetables that day. And it was ridiculous. And that's when I kind of came to the conclusion that, you know, this week is going to be about getting off of this sugar. Yeah. Monday. I was designing stickers, but then when I tried to cut them, I realized my blade is dead. And that shocked and horror face is from Kina Prince. And, uh, that actually changed all of my plans for this week's plan with me because I had planned, I had intended to do actually a kind of golden mustardy um, kit with panda stickers that my brother sent me from Japan. However, because my blade is dead, I could not cut the stickers and then I was just like, oh man, now what am I going to do with this last mustard week? And then I found these dinosaur stickers and thus the rest is history. Of course, having to buy a new blade and all that kind of stuff is not good for my bank account. So there's a sticker of me holding a really long receipt that my friend made. And when I find out the total of these items, I will write it in that little speech balloon. I don't like how the lines poke out from behind my half boxes here, so I thought I'd put down this ice cream because the art style was very similar, I thought, to the dinosaurs. But the colors were totally not jiving because theirs were all like pink and mint and chocolate, you know, and mine were not. So then I tried to go back to like the tapes I had already used, but these red stickers trying to go with yellow and green and everything, it was just not working. So I said, okay, we have to lower the hue contrast, okay? I'm going to get all artsy on here, or, or artsy on you guys, that, uh, you know, colors similar to red will be less of an eyesore. So... Um, that's why I picked the orange for the background and then just put the red on top and as you can see Much less of an eyesore than when I had like neon yellow and blue doodle tape Then on Monday my sister wanted to celebrate something so she's like I'm gonna eat everybody bento boxes and so I had you know deep fried chicken katsu and rice and macaroni salad and all the other foods that really aren't paleo so that was another diet Disaster day. I wanted to make that bold, just couldn't read it. Yeah, the blade is dead. Tuesday, which is the 22nd of August. Oh, I lost a little bit of footage, rats. But all I did was stick down some washi tape and a roar sticker, and then I put down this full box, which is coming from the one of the Mambi books. Mambi book of stickers. And I don't know why my filming is on fire, but. I put some fire stickers there and some weird little, I don't know, horse pterodactyl? Like, what is that purple thing? I don't know. And I tried to use a laundry sticker, but it was huge, so I didn't. And instead, I used my friend's uh, laundry sticker, the one who made that sticker with me holding the receipt. I also made this one with um, the washing machine. So I'm washing my darks, and I made the sticker that says, Wash, Dry, Fold Away, because I need all four steps here. Because, actually, currently, it is, uh, my laundry is still in the dryer, so obviously I still need to fold in a way. And then, because Sunday is usually my cleaning day, right? It's my clean everything day. But, because I had to do Stockton Con, nothing got cleaned on Sunday. And then on Monday, <sighs> Monday was just weird. So then I had all this stuff to still clean on Tuesday. So, there are all the things I need to clean on Tuesday. And then, a little bit of green tape at the bottom here. And a make dinner sticker because this is my night to make dinner on Tuesday. I wanted to put that sticker there, but it covered up the make dinner, so I moved the make dinner over and put her over here instead because she almost didn't fit. There we go. And we had soup and salad. Yeah, it was an easy night. Then on Wednesday, which is art class day, I put it down a full box and reminded myself to prep for art class. 
There's a kind of a weird gap underneath our class, but oh well. We're doing Monsters, Inc. still, Gravity Falls still. I think we have one more class after this and then we'll switch topics. Put down a weird little dinosaur and a skateboard. Fill in some of that space. Now another little, like, horse T-Rex. I don't know. What is this? Who, who did this? Who did this? These are not dinosaurs anymore. I don't know what they are. Okay. Anyway, I need to film my vlog. And I was going to put that extreme right there, but then I didn't. And puts a bush thing instead and another weird horse thing. And I also need to film my two point perspective video. And now it looks like that dinosaur has that grass was grown out of his face. I shouldn't have done that in a while. And then I thought I'd put part of that dinosaur bicycling just to block off the time that I am teaching class. So put down a bunch of washi. Try and keep the pattern seamless so that you can't really tell uh, where one strip of tape starts and where. Another one starts, you know what I mean? And then I just cut off that dinosaur's tail and that bicycle wheel, although it didn't cut evenly. That's the problem with dollar stickers. And then I put a quarter box behind and wrote art class, because that's what I'm going to be doing. Teaching that art class. More orange tape at the bottom. More orange tape at the bottom. Oh, I could have left a white stripe, that might have been interesting. I'll try that sometime. And. Getting down my red half boxes since I'm down here anyway. Just slap them all down. And I can put that half box sheet away. Put down all my dishes, stickers, and I can put that away. And then on Thursday, put down another full box from the Namby book and a yellow half box. And this is about the time that on the left there you can see um, my cat's paw. Actually, not my cat, my sister's cat. Um, yeah, his, his paws will make appearances uh, for the rest of this planning video. I had more laundry, so I used a teeny tiny icon because I didn't think the other one would fit and have to do my lights load. Oh, I didn't write lights. Oh well. And put a background for another speech balloon sticker and a skull saying finish and upload my plan with me video because it probably will take until then to finish. And then more blue tape and more kitty paws trying to get my fingers. And more blue doodle tape. And more kitty paws trying to get my fingers. And a half box. And more kitty paws. More kitty paws. And a laptop that's kind of not happy because I have to finish and upload two point perspective video no matter what. It's like that urgency face, you know. And then some scale tape up on Friday. Because that's very dinosaur, right? right? And a quarter box. And I need to prep for class. The lighting's a little weird here. Oh, I didn't even mark that it. it was the eclipse day on Monday. Oh well. And then Friday is going to be comic strips and the webcomic. And there's some weird dinosaur that I don't even know. But uh, I put it down anyway because it was a good space filler. And then some more green tape. And more green tape. And a half box. And I need to also finish and upload my vlog video. I thought it was number 11, but it's actually number 10, so we'll just pretend it's a really rectangular letter zero. Letter zero. Number zero. And then some scale washing on the bottom. I thought I was going to play some video games before going off to work with my sister. We're playing this cute, so cute, little diner game. It's kind of like Diner Dash, for those of you who like diner games on your phone. Except... It's two players at the same time, so we have two chefs in the kitchen, and a lot of times the kitchen will be divided in a way that we have to work together as a team. So it's a great, you know, sisterly team bonding building exercise. Where it's like she has to hand me the tomato and I have to cut it up, and then she's got the bun, so I got to put the tomato on the bun, and I've got the plate, so I have to give her the plate so that she can put the burger on the plate and then send the order out. And yeah, it's great stuff like that. And then on Saturday. Of course, we got to play with those student loans. Right now, I'm just paying off the daily interest. I don't have enough money to... Um, usually, I like take whatever leftover money I have of the month and slam it on one of my loans. But since we're saving up for a vacation, I cannot do that. And so right now, I'm just paying off the daily interest. And it's very frustrating because like, you know you're just throwing money away. Like Basically, every day, no, every week, Every week, I throw away 
math. Uh, like over 20 bucks uh, in interest for my loans. So it's just, it's painful knowing that every single week I'm throwing away $20, but what you gonna do? So another dinosaur sticker because on Saturday I have to do some teacher training at a workshop and I have to like demonstrate how I'm going to do these spinner, like origami spinner lesson and some watercolor landscape um, demonstration. So I have to perform all of that in front of my peers and see if they have any feedback for me to make it better. But now more scale washi. Because I wasn't entirely sure what to put here. Uh, sure, I could think of like maybe three things. So I tried to space these out nicely and thought of three things to do. I knew I had to prep meals for next week because like I said, this week was a disaster. And I also knew I was going to be making dinner. What to make, what to make. I was thinking, I think maybe just taco salad will be fine. And then I'll just not have cheese and sour cream and try to stay more on the vegetable side. Vegetable. I also want to print and cut because by then I should have my blade back. Here's a flyby of all these crazy dinosaurs and my cute little dog sticker and more crazy dinosaurs and skateboards and my crying face and that shocked face and half of an eggshell and roar and fire and laundry and making dinner. Little chef. But wait, that's only half of it. The rest of it has more freaky dinosaurs <laughs> and skateboards and more freaky dinosaurs and dinosaurs riding bicycles and blank dinner boxes and uh yeah so this is how it all came together dollar stickers from michael's some mambi stickers scrap stickers all coming together to make this week's plan with me dun 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 that's kind of ominous music. Let's try something else. Get your foot out of the way, kitty. Hopefully by next week I will have my blade and will be able to make stickers once again. <laughs>